Okay. So. Okay, so the word distribute, it means to pass out, right? Okay, so take a look. If you went to the movies, you guys on the paper? If you went to the movies and you said, I would like to buy two of combo number one. So you can see that combo number one has a popcorn and two cokes, right? So that means we would want this combination twice, right? So that means we would want popcorn and two cokes, popcorn and two cokes. So what would you end up with? What would you be walking away with? Two? Yeah, two popcorn and four cokes. Does everybody see where I got that from? Guys, I'm writing, you're writing. No. Okay, so another way that we can do that is to distribute it mathematically. So if you look at how this is written, 1P plus 2D, they just, they're saying D for different, that's it. So that means I need two of the popcorn and two of the drinks. We're distributing it, okay? So we would say two times 1P, what would that be? 2P and two times 2D, what would that be? 4D. And I can just use a C up here. So all together, we would have bought two platforms and four drinks. Does that make sense, you guys? Okay, let's do another one. This time we want three combo number twos. So combo number two comes with two platforms and three M&Ms, okay? So how many of the combos do we want? Three of them. What comes inside the combo? Two popcorns. And what else? Three M&Ms. Is everybody following with me? Okay. So now what we're saying is we want you to just rewrite this. But we're going to distribute this time. We're going to distribute. We're going to pass out that three. Three times two P would be how much? Six P. Did everybody follow that? And three times three M would be what? Nine M. So let's see if that makes sense. If I bought three of this combo, then that means I'm going to have popcorn, popcorn, M and M, M and M, M and M. I'm going to have that three times. Does that total what I said right here? Let's see. Two, four, six popcorns. Yep. And three, six, nine M&Ms. Okay? So down here, what did we buy? I bought, very good, six popcorns and nine M&Ms. You may have a question so far. Okay. How about you guys try that last one on your own, please? Okay. Go ahead and check your answer. Um, you should have bought what? Six drinks and what? And four M&Ms. Okay. How many people got that right? Thumbs up. Yay. Excellent. All right, so now what we're going to do is you need to go to Braining Camp. Okay, so if you'll remember, in my candy cloud, um, look for Braining Camp and then Algebra Five. Okay, so first, let's write down a couple of things that we've already talked about. We said that distribute means to give out. But it also means to multiply. Are you writing? If I'm writing, you're writing. When we use the distributive property, let's pause right there for a second. Before the ice, you guys remember talking about all those other properties? Commutative property, identity property, associative property, remember? And we did all those in one day. And then there's another one, the distributive property, and that we have it done because it's uh, it's enough for a whole day. In fact, we're going to spend two days just on the distributive property. Okay? So when using the distributive property, we multiply 
the number on the outside of the parentheses to each term on the inside of the parentheses. Okay? We're going to use the distributive property to find equivalent expressions. It's also really useful when we need to multiply a group of terms being added or subtracted. You might be like, what do you mean a group of terms? Well, back here, when we're talking about like the popcorn and the, and the Coke, these are two different terms, right? This is two different terms. I cannot combine them any further. Is everybody with me? I can't put popcorn and Coke together because they're separate. Does that make sense? Okay, so those are two different things. Okay? Okay, we're going to look at this first problem. 2 times 5 plus 3x. Hmm. First of all, we want to write that in words. Can you think of another way to say that? Uh oh. Let's go back to here. When we did this, when we said we want two combo number one, what were we really asking for? Two what? Two of the combo, right? So we really wanted two groups of combo number one, okay? So if we're looking here, how would we say this? We want what? Two groups of five plus three X. That's what it actually means, okay? So go ahead and write that down. It means two groups of five plus three X. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Granny Camp and we're gonna we're gonna uh, make this. Okay, before COVID days we will actually have uh, the titles here in front of us. Okay? Okay. If you look on the left hand side in the outer file, you'll see you've got uh, positive and negative one. We've seen those before, right? When we did um, integer rules way, way back. Okay? So we want five plus three x. So if I drag a one over, how many of those do I need? Five. Once you drag it the first time, now I don't know about your computer, but mine works like this. Two, uh, three, four, five. All I have to do is just click it over and over. Sometimes. I don't know why now it's not on that one. Right? Okay. There's my five, and now I need three X. I'm going to bring my three X's over. One. Where can you help click at the computer next time? It'll be faster. Okay? That is one group of those. I need another whole group of them, right? So if I bring down the first one to here and drop it, you should just be able to click. There we go. It's so much easier on the actual computer. Okay, has everybody made that on your algebra title? I'm bringing it down. That's why we're doing it. Okay? So now, when we put it together, you can already tell, I hope, what the answer is. What do you guys see? You see one. You should see 10 plus, what do you see over here? 6 what? X. That's exactly right. That's what you see on the screen. Is everybody with me? Now what we need to do though is figure out on the paper how to get there. Okay? First let's draw our model. Our model was five. Now I draw circles simply because they take less time. No worries. Okay? And three X's. I put an X's on those. And I need it twice. Okay. We already know that the answer is 10 plus 6x. You told me that on bringing the camp. Is everybody with me? But now what we have to do is figure out, well, what if we didn't have bringing the camp? Okay. So come over here, and it says step one, distribute using the arrows. 
So from here, we're going to multiply 2 times 5 and then 2 times 3x. And we're just going to write that down. 2 times 5 and then 2 times 3x. This step right here, normally you're going to do that step in your head. Okay? It's just we're writing it out because this is the first time we're doing it and it's your notes. But just for now, we're writing it out. Okay? Now I'll actually do it. What's 2 times 5? 10. What's 2 times 3x? 6x. Next, it says to simplify if possible. I can't simplify it anymore, meaning I can't combine numbers and letters. That's like saying apples and oranges together. You can't do that, okay? Did I get the same thing I got with my model? Yeah. Okay, questions? You want to try another one? Okay, the next one says 3 times x minus 4. How can I write that in words? I heard somebody say three groups. Three groups of what? X minus four. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be hard. Okay. Let's go to Brainy Camp. First of all, down here in the, in the bottom corner, it says clear all. You see that? Then we have one of things with. Okay. So x minus four. And the negative minus 4 means negative 4, correct? Thank you. And we need three groups of that. Okay, you know what I just noticed? I don't know if you noticed it. You see on my screen, it already gave me the answer. If you don't want that, turn off the eyeball, then it goes away. <laughs> the eyeball, remember we used that before when we did intervals? Don't remember that one time ago? It would kind of give you the answer. So that's good. You really, if you want to check, that gives you the answer. Okay? Okay, let's go back to our paper. So let's draw our model, three groups of x minus 4. So that means I need x. And then when I do my negatives, I just call it an n. Some people like to actually put like a negative sign like that, but you can just also color it in. And we need three of those. We're drawing what we just did on brain and camp. Okay? Okay. Now, let's look over here. And notice that they have a plus sign right there. Hmm, but my original problem is subtraction. What does that mean? Why do they have a plus sign? Exactly, because subtraction means add the opposite. So we can say three groups of x plus negative 4. You can say that if you want to. Some people like to have it with addition. It doesn't really matter. Okay? So 3x plus negative 4. It says to distribute with the arrows. So that means I'm going to do 3 times x and 3 times negative 4. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. That's right. Now when it says to simplify, what do you think they're wanting you to do here? How could we change this to on another step? There's no simpler way to write that? With what? Can't I just put minus? Yeah. 
Want to do it the same? Because when we did it on grading camp, remember? When we had the eyeball on, look, you see what it says? They put 3x minus 12 because that's easier than 3x plus negative 12. Okay? All right. I think it is your turn. Okay? See if you can do the next one. Well, they're just saying on the next one, when can you simplify? Okay? It's when you can rewrite add the opposite as a subtraction. That's all. Like right here. That's what we just did. So meaning 4x plus negative 10, we could say 4x minus 10. What if we had negative 4x plus negative 10? What would that look like? Negative 4x minus 10. Negative 4x. Minus 10, that's right. Okay? Okay. Does anybody have any questions about how to do this with the models? Are we doing we feel like we're pretty good, like the brain camp? Okay. What if I asked you to do it without the models? Do you think we could do it? Let's try it. Come down here. We're not going to go to brain camp unless we get stuck. Got it? So right here, since Think in your mind, what does that mean? Six groups of x plus five. So that means we're going to use our arrows and we're going to do what right here? Six times x plus, what's going to go over here? Six times five, very good. And now we're going to actually do it. What is six times x? 6x plus, what is 6 times 5? 30. If you were doing this on your own, you could use brain camp to uh, check. Okay? Do you feel like you could do the next one by yourself? Does it matter that this 7 is now at the back? No. Doesn't it mean the same thing, you guys? Okay, how about you try, um, how about just the next one, and then we'll check it. Okay, let's see. We should have done 7 times 2x and 7 times 10. So 7 times 2x would be what? 14x. Plus 7 times 10 is what? 70. Thumbs up if you got it right. Don't worry me. I knew you could do it. How about, let's do the next one together. Because I see a whole bunch of extra legs down here. I'm worried about this. 2 times r. Oh, that's because they wanted this. R plus what? Negative 4. They just wanted you to change it so that it's not a negative. So then that would be 2 times R and 2 times negative 4. 2 times R is what? 2R plus 2 times negative 4 is what? What? Negative 8. And now they want you to rewrite it one more time. What's that going to look like? Uh -huh, you got it. Okay, now that we did that one, I bet you guys can do number four by yourself. Okay. Okay, this means I'm going to do negative four times three x plus negative four times eight. What's negative four times three x? Negative twelve x plus what's negative 4 times 8? Say it again. Negative 32. They want me to rewrite that to say what? You got it. Any questions? That's fine. Any questions? Okay. Alright. This is a practice. Guys, Um, you, you have like 16 minutes. This is not homework, but tonight is family night. But what you're going to do is you're going to start right here. Um, will you pass that out? Is that good? No.